it's not an all Latino movie. It's not an all black movie. It's like, no, we live in a world where me and you walk out the door and we're around every colored person in the world. Hi, Dion. <laughs> How are you? Good, Daniel. Nice to see you again. Nice, nice <laughs> to see you again. You look beautiful today. Thank you so much. I saw you. We met on January, back in January, for the Hollywood Critics Association. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, and we. Yes, thank you. I remember you. I I, I remember looking you in your eyes like this. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to be talking to you. you too. And what is this amazing, amazing movie with a lot of like twists and turns and. But what was like about the David script that got your attention? Um, you know what's interesting is um, I I was just finishing up. Me and David had did the Intruder together, and um, I just loved his writing style. He was awesome, and um, he was one of the first writers that I worked with that I also write, and I love collabing with writers. So I had this idea and it was in my head. I mean, it was stuck in my head literally for like two weeks. And I called him and I said, David, I got an idea for a movie, but here's the thing. I'm going to pitch you the whole film. So he was like, Oh my God, like, tell me. And if you know me, you know, I'm crazy. You know, I do that all the time. And he was like, I'm writing right now. And this was the film. And the idea was someone goes to Vegas and Vegas comes home with them. <laughs> and and uh, that's how it started. And man, it was great. It just was great, man. And I'm a fan of the noir thrillers. You know that. Um, I love these films. But I also love the fact that as a filmmaker, I want to actually level them up. So, you know, obviously, Mr. Lin, who directed for uh, uh, Fatal Attraction, one of the most incredible artists that we've had. And there's so many knockoffs of that film. You know what I mean? So many, yeah. oh man, that's BS. I don't, I wanted to do something that was on like on par. I wanted to do something that was on the level where you go, wow, this was really good. You know what I mean? And I couldn't figure it out. I also looked at the, you know, the screen and wanted Dante Spinoli to do his work. And I think we did something very special with this movie. I really do. Yeah, no, I think um, I'm very like, that's for sure. And I was going to say to you, mentioned to you about the cinematography. Dante, he's like, it's amazing. Like everything, the shots, the way that, of course, the, the, the house, the view, everything helps. But even his, the, the way that he looks at Vegas, the, the way that he looks at Hillary characters, uh, yes. Michaels and everything, is like, it's so beautiful. And how was like this collaboration with him? It is, it is, it is amazing. It, I mean, I can't even, I can't even put into context how incredible he is. Um, you're talking about a man who did Manhunter with Michael Mann, <laughs> right? So, and, and Last of the Mohicans and The Insider and Public Enemies and look, Fatal. I've been saying this, and it's me almost throwing myself under the bus to say this, but I want to make sure people understand. You can turn Fatal down and not listen to the movie, and you will begin to understand how incredible. I, I really believe, I watch, I watch movies all day, all night. I have not seen a crime thriller like this shot in L.A. in the last 10 years. This one is, this one is different. I mean, there's scenes, there's, there's shots of Dante's in this movie where these colors right here, these blues yeah. and pinks, he, he gave Hillary her own color and Michael his own color, and he clashes them together in Vegas. And then, if you don't know storytelling, there's a scene in the movie where Hillary Swank goes downstairs and she's talking to Damaris Lewis, Michael's wife, okay? In and, and that whole scene is yellow to mimic caution. Now, I, I don't want to spaz out a little bit on you because you're going like, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Don't do it. <laughs> in, the back, in the back of that room is a window. That window has a tree and it is lit with this color. This color, yes. I noticed that. It's incredible. You, can, <laughs> you cannot write this. You know what I mean?
that is how brilliant he is. And I'm just telling everybody out there, man, like, it's not me. I'm just being a conduit for him right now. But he deserves so much recognition for Fatal because, first of all, no one can shoot in L.A., let alone independently. But just the mere fact that he is a legend at this and it's time for us to celebrate him. It oh, really yeah. is. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And also, like, bring bring Hilary as a producer, as a main actress of the movie. How is like work with her and, and like, she's, she's amazing, I think. And I don't know, you can tell me more. <laughs> Let me get my towel. It's Hilary Swank. <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? It's Hilary Swank. It's the, we got the million dollar baby. We got yeah, the, you did. Listen, I, look, it's, it's all incredible. There's when when you have when you have when you come do a movie like this, look what made Fatal Attraction Fatal Attraction was Glenn Close, period. She was she was in she was incredible as an actress. Her moments. When I was getting ready to make this film, I needed someone like that. I knew that that's what makes the movie tick. You have to have the right engine. You know what I mean? There's no mistakes when you have two Oscars. Hilary Swain is incredible in Fatal. I mean, every layer of her, every nuance of her. It, as a director, you could act however you want to act and be like, oh, when I, when I shot that one scene, I really was thinking about, you know what I mean? You yeah. can do that all day long. But when you have people that are great, you kind of sit back and you let them do what they do. She was finding so many moments in this film where I was like, wow, man, look at her. Look at her. Like, she's, she's one of the greatest. And I think she shows you in this movie because you're like, wait, is she the one or is he the one? And, yeah. she, and it's like, and you don't know. That's her. That's her doing what she does. No, it's incredible. The whole cast. I think Michael is, also has, like, his piece of it, Damaris, which is great. I spoke to her yeah. and she's she's like, oh my God, this is a, a dream like project. Like it's it's amazing. And even Mike, Mike the instigator. <laughs> I right, love right, it. right, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's a he's a bad boy in this. Yeah, I really like I, I love everything about it. So so like like bringing this cast together and put all like, did you have like any challenges? Anything that you, oh my God, I can't, I, 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 I was unable to do it or was like very difficult? No, um, I have, I have, I have arguably the best producer in Hollywood next to me, uh, which is Roxanne, which is, you know, she's everything. Um, we've been making independent films for 15 years. Um, people are just now finding us. <laughs> you know what I mean? People are like, oh, man, I didn't know you was making movies. I'm like, yeah, I've been over here for a yeah. long time. Like, We've been doing this for a very long time, 100% independently. So our challenges are very different than studio challenges. You know what I mean? Our challenges are always kind of time. You know, this movie was shot for under $6 million and it was done in 24 days. Wow. So for us, it's like the challenge for me is like getting all the shots I need in 20 days. You know what I mean? Because there is no reshoot. There is no tomorrow. So those challenges far outweigh, you know, any actor or any like, it's like, once you got them, it's like, we got to make a movie now and we got to cut it. And we've been blessed, man. Dante, Jeff Zanelli, who did the score, did, scored Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Hillary, Michael Ely, you know what I mean? It's just, everyone comes together and we create this family environment, which is, we, we shoot like there's no tomorrow. And people absolutely love that because they're like, damn, it feels like a student film because we're always just trying to, to get it done. And, that's, and I think that's what makes movies like this beautiful is because it's a collection of everyone working. Yeah, and I also like the, the showing just like some uh, the, uh, people of color in a different way. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. That's amazing. Like, it's amazing. That's, I think it, this is also a plus on the movie as well. I don't know if I you agree. agree with me. But. Yes. Yeah, well, as a black man, uh, you know, black and brown people, man, we've been so misrepresented for so long and we only get to do certain films. 
And what I'm trying to do as hard as I can as a director, I'm trying to put us in films where we make universal movies, where we're the lead with white people and brown people and you know what I mean? And not it's not an all Latino movie. It's not an all black movie. It's like, no, we live in a world where me and you walk out the door and we're around every colored person in the world. So let's make movies where we're the leads in those films. And what I also is great about Fatal is just speaking to that for a moment is there's no mention of color in Fatal. No. Not at all. And I pride myself on that. I never mentioned color in black and blue. I never mentioned color in The Intruder. I, I just don't believe in it. Traffic either. You know what I mean? It's just like, I just think these are the movies that work and we need to put ourselves where we're in the position to win universally. Exactly. I agree with you. So, Dion, thank you so much for your time once more. And it's a pleasure yeah, to talk you. to you. And, of course, keep going. And we are here to support you 100%. Man, let Every me tell you time something. a new movie. You yeah. are incredible. And I'm grateful for your time. I love your work. I love everything you write. And I just want to tell you, seriously, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. You guys and, and Hollywood critics, so everybody, y'all making an impact in lives, man. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Nice to hear that too. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.